This is Twit. We don't have, as a, as a consequence of the nature of this so-called industry of iPhone cracking, we don't have definitive information from Celebrite, and, and we're not going to. But all of the evidence suggests that Celebrite may now be able um, to unlock from iPhone 5 through iPhone 10. I mean, inclusive, all of them. Uh, 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 there was some good coverage in Forbes. Thomas Fox Brewster writing for in his security column for Forbes, he says, in what appears to be a major breakthrough for law enforcement, and, uh, and again, with caveats that, you know, we don't know absolutely positively for sure, but it's worth just putting it on everyone's radar. And a possible privacy problem for Apple customers, he writes, a major U.S. government contractor claims to have found a way to unlock pretty much every iPhone on the market. Celebrite, the Israeli-based vendor that's become the U.S. government's company of choice when it comes to unlocking mobile devices, is this month telling customers its engineers currently have the ability to get around the security of devices running iOS 11. That includes the iPhone 10, a model that Forbes has learned was successfully rated for data by the Department of Homeland Security back in November 2017, so last November, most likely with Celebrite technology. He writes, the Israeli firm, a subsidiary of Japan's Sun Corporation, hasn't made any major public announcement about its new iOS capabilities, but Forbes has told, was told by sources who asked to remain anonymous as they weren't authorized to talk on the matter that in the last few months, the company has developed undisclosed techniques to get into iOS 11 and is advertising them to law enforcement and private forensics folk across the globe. Indeed, he writes, the company's literature for its, quote, advanced unlocking and extraction services off offering now notes the company can break the security of, quote, Apple iOS devices and operating systems, including iPhone, iPad, iPad mini, iPad Pro, and iPod Touch running iOS 5 to iOS 11. So then Thomas's column goes into much greater detail, citing interesting but, you know, necessarily hearsay accounts of various models of iPhones being accessed. But as always, you know, without absolute definitive detail, um, but of course, that's because Celebrite protects these secrets um, as much from Apple as it as like from their own customers. You know, they could probably put this in some software. They might be able to package it in something that they sell. But Apple would be first in line to purchase it through through a cutout and figure out what Celebrite is doing and assuming that they really wanted to fix the problem. So the way this works is. Phones must be physically sent to Celebrite for them to work their magic. Um, and then they either unlock and extract or provide some means subsequently for after the phone is returned, for, probably for forensics reasons, to allow the authority that had had that device in their possession to then get access to it. So, again, we, this is hearsay and rumor seems to be pretty well sourced, however. Um, uh, so who knows, uh, you know, what they're doing, what, what in they may have found. Um, uh, but it does look like if this is to be believed, there may be a way in given, you know, this sort of extreme, uh, uh, access where you have to have, you know, it has to go to Israel in order to, uh, uh, in order to be cracked.